when Kirby Smart talks about his two running backs, that's really the big question. Uh, Kirby Smart looked very smooth for a first-year head coach. Obviously, he's been in the conference for many years as a player and assistant. But he talked about his two running backs, Nick Chubb and Sony Michelle, and the possibility that neither one of them uh, would be available for that first game against North Carolina, which would be big uh, for Georgia as, as North Carolina played in the ACC championship game last year. Uh, said that Nick Chubb's been doing well, progressing, but he did say he's going to alter his practicing uh, once the pads get on, which to me, for, for a recuperation that's been going on for about nine months now, it should be a little bit alarming for Georgia fans. He also called the Sony Michelle injury a very sad injury and really didn't have a good time frame for Sony Michelle's rehab and his return, which also, if I was a Georgia fan, would cause me a little bit of concern. So coming out of that, I'm concerned as a Georgia fan, uh, my running back situation, which, which of course will affect the quarterback situation there. He also talked about uh, Grayson Lambert um, and uh, Jacob Eason uh, and the quarterback situation there, the three-man quarterback situation there. I think one thing I took away, and you know, it's a lot easier said than done, but he said, you know, kind of led to believe he's not going to build Georgia in that Alabama mold. And that was a lot of the thing Will Muschamp tried to do when he came to Florida was trying to to instill that type of uh, you know scheme and players and you know what each program lives on its own you can't recruit the same type of players at each school I think Smart learned enough from Saban uh, to not try and you know to 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 instill some of those things but Smart needs to also be smart enough to to figure out you know he's got to put his own stamp on Georgia uh, it's uh, he he was a Saving disciple for 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 long enough, but you're not going to be uh, you know an elite head coach just because you were there. You got to do stuff your own way. So that's a, he, of course he wants to be big, fast, and physical. That's kind of what Georgia can be anyway. But uh, you know it's, he's got to change some offensive line recruiting that Georgia's had in the past. He's well on his way from doing that. It looks like in recruiting, uh, he's getting the recruits. He's getting there. But I, I really am interested to see if Kirby Smart. The talk is is different than the action, and see if you know is is he going to try to build Georgia in the Alabama mold, or does he or is he really going to put his stamp on that program? Uh, Kirby Smart asked a ton about Nick Saban, of course, and how he's going to take lessons from coaching w with and under Nick Saban and apply them to the program building at Georgia. And I thought Dave uh, outlined it very well that uh, you can certainly learn from your mentor. But then you have to be smart enough, like Dave, uh, pardon the pun, you got to be smart enough to be able to apply it to that situation, to that program, to that culture, or what you want that culture to be, and recognizing the limits. Now, Alabama to Georgia, the limitations aren't quite as what they would be if you were going from Alabama to Kentucky. But it's still, it's a different situation, and it's a different um, program for sure. 